K2SO was worked for the Empire. He was an em he was built by the Empire and was bad, which makes him look really cool because bad guys look really cool. Uh, he was reprogrammed by Cassian and is now uh, Cassian's right hand droid. Uh, he had a memory wipe, and because of the memory wipe. He's more childlike. He says things that are socially inappropriate or offensive um, or intimidating. K2 is fun to play. Because he's uh, innocent, he says inappropriate things, which is fun. You know, it ends up being funny. And I always like playing funny roles. I'm 44, so I have memory of the first three. Uh, and they were part of my childhood and that I had the action figures and the little Darth Vader with the, the lightsaber that came out of his arm and bent very early on. We had lightsabers that sort of basically a flashlight on a plastic two that my brother and I hit each other with and it would buckle in the middle and leave a white mark you know so I, we played Star Wars you know we liked it you know it informed our childhood you know or it, it uh, ignited our imagination I think in this story, Rogue One, as opposed to Star Wars, where good and evil are so well defined, uh, this one questions what is good and evil, or at least who is on the right side of events that we know take place. He has a certain style about him, a refined style that lends itself to evil, you know, exacting, calculated evil. He's not afraid of taking anything on. Maybe afraid a little bit of Darth Vader. Possibly just because he doesn't want to catch that cold. It's very bronchial. Sure, it knows of the Force, and he believes in the Force. And he's, he, he carries that mythology with him, you know. Uh, and it's the kind of thing that died with the Jedi. The Jedis are dead, and, and they've, they've been extinguished. And uh, he believes in it. And he's right, you know. He's, he's devout. And he's pure in that way. And even though he's blind, he can kick some butt, which is always fun. Uh, Baze is a, is a hired killer, and he's tough and he's scary. But he's on the right side, you know? He, uh, he's a mercenary, but he's our mercenary. Diego is a fantastic actor who has a lot of experience. Uh, he became successful at, a, at an early age and uh, is a filmmaker and is a producer. And through those experiences, uh, he approaches the movie um, in a very mature way. Uh, and at the same time being He's, he's a natural. I, I don't know what to say. He's just... He's easy. He eases into it. It's, it's, it's not hard for him. When we land our Ewing, they hooked us up to a crane and put, basically flew us in the air. And when we landed, we actually landed on the planet. 
And we looked out the window saying, oh, look, that's, we've got trouble there. And one, two, three, four, lots of stormtroopers. This is, uh, here we are. And th there's a ramp that goes down the back. It all looks like a spaceship inside. It looks like a box on the outside, but it's a spaceship inside. You know, that, that's, that's great as an actor. You don't have to act. You're doing it.